All right, you're live. Hooray. Uh, hi, I'm DarkFox36. I can't talk. I'm DarkFox36. I help make these marathons happen. And I play really shitty children's games, so let's do that. Uh, so there is a spooky level at the end of this game, but in order to go fast, we're gonna hope that we get a glitch that's completely random, uh, that that level just doesn't load. So hopefully we will remove the spookiness from the marathon. Also, I haven't played this game in three months. Hey, look, right as I said that I fell in a puddle of water. Did you already start? Yeah. What the fuck? Reset. Why? Because I didn't start your timer. Oh, I thought you said go. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't do shit. That's fine. I can reset the emulator. I don't care. It's practice. I mean, did you need to time it? It's it's gonna take however long it takes. Yeah, dude. This is a professional speedrun marathon. What do you what, it do, is. what do you mean? It is. Count me down, bro. All right. Three, two. Wait, no, because it's the timing starts when I gain control. Shit. Okay. Three, two, one, go. What's the timer at Lurk? Um, you're about to hit a minute. Okay. That's not terrible. So, second level we do is going fishing. Got this pretty well routed, um, at least as far as I know. Uh, there are a lot of different exits to some of these levels, um, but pretty sure this is the fastest way through everything. I, I, I explored pretty heavily. Okay, so the only actually difficult part of this game is coming up. Um, there's a platform that's on a completely random cycle, and, uh, yeah. Kind of sucks. Because I don't really like not moving right, and that requires me to not move right so that I can figure out what it's doing. Um, health is meaningless in this game. So there are a bunch of different difficulty levels on this game. Um, on easy, which is goddamn, that was just my mistake. Um, on easy, which is what we're doing now, um, you only actually have to play one level for each area, but on medium, there's, I think, like, like four or five, probably. Um, and, uh, on hard, you basically can't beat the game. Um, I will literally pay someone 20 bucks to do an actual optimized speedrun of hard mode of this game, because no one will ever, ever do it. It's just not gonna happen. Like, I've never beaten the hard mode of this game. It's fucking insane. 
I don't... I, there, I think there's actually a TV Tropes page about this game. Because it's so hard. Yeah, I just don't know why any human being would want to put that much time into this game. To be honest. I have the game, uh, the game Gear version of this game, and it's way better. It's actually, like, a, an almost fun platforming game. Dark Souls is for wimps, it's true. Reminder that we are working on a, in partnership with the Speed Souls community to put on a charity stream uh, December 1st through the 3rd. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of Souls runs and uh, we're raising money for Save the Children. That's going to be on I think twitch.tv slash speed souls. Pretty sure that's right. It's either that or it's twitch.tv slash souls runs. Pretty sure it's speed souls though. Okay, so this in the actual speed run would be where I would stop uh, if I didn't get the glitch. I would just stop at the end of this level. But because it's Halloween. We're going to try and get, actually get to play the uh, Spooky Forest. We're going to hope that the game doesn't go fast. Okay, so this here is a tree elevator. It sometimes works. Other times it uh, destroys your entire run. You have to hold up to go into it, but if you're not standing in just the right place... Ooh, I almost hit that bonus stage. Alright. So hopefully the game doesn't just end here. Okay, so we're going to get to play the last level, which is the spooky forest. Get ready to be spooked, guys. Uh, also, I, I can't speedrun this level, effectively, because this isn't part of the run. There's a spooky bat. That was a bunch of spooky bonus stuff. Oh man, I went the wrong way. See, I told you I don't play this level. There we go, we got the super bounce. Um, Alright, so this I remember as being annoying. There's some spooky ghosts coming up. Oh, I missed it! Ah, uh, I knew there was an invisible platform. Or not an invisible, but a blind jump there. <sighs> Come on. Let me get it. What? I swear to God, my characters went through that platform. Whee! I just want to do this in a, in a not, like... Boring way. Yeah. That's what I thought. I just mistimed it. Okay. Don't worry, it's gonna get spooky, guys. I promise. There's gonna be spooks. The rats are pretty scary. Look, a spooky porcupine. See, I told you. Spooky. This is a really haunted forest, okay. There's a spooky ghost. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna jump on these spooky ghosts. <clears throat> the seesaw violates multiple laws of physics. This whole game's physics engine is garbage. 
it, it that's why you see me doing things I don't want to do 90% of the time. I think we're almost at the end of this level, but you got to see the spooky ghosts, which is what this whole marathon's about, right? And time. I got you at 8.36. Awesome. <laughs> GG, dude. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed uh, that terrible children's game. Um, Want to do it again? Oh, do you need me to do it again? We got time. Do you want me to see if I can get the glitch? Yeah, go for it. I'll do it. Hang on. I'll actually take it seriously this time. Go. What's the timer at, Lurk? 53 seconds. Damn, that was pretty fast. Screwed up the end a little bit, though. But that was actually legitimately fast. So, one actual piece of genuine tech in this game is that you walk slower when you're on an incline, like an uphill incline. Um, it like, fucks with your movement, especially if you land on one. So, generally speaking, you want to jump over inclines and land at the peak of them, so that you start walking at normal speeds. Okay, I didn't fuck that up this time. So I got caught on the edge of that incline there. 
That really screwed me over. Lost a lot of, like, momentum. Ah! Got stuck in the quicksand. Okay, and last level. Let's see if we get the glitch. It's been pretty solid so far, to be honest. I don't think it's actual world record pace, but it's not that much slower. I haven't really lost a lot of time. Then again, like, like, half a second in this game is like a year, because it takes so long to actually get the glitch, because it's completely random. If I had to guess, I would say that I get it once every, like, 20 or 30 times, like, somewhere in that range. And I, I have yet to figure out how, how it works, or why it happens. See, that's the problem with the tree elevator. <sighs> so, that killed the pace of this. Um, when you leave the tree elevator, sometimes if, if you... You have to wait a second before trying to jump right, or she'll just fall straight off, and it won't take your jump input at all. <sighs> and sometimes it does that. Basically, 90% of beating this game fast is fighting the game to make it work. Alright, and... nope, no glitch. You want me to do the haunted forest? Get some spooky woods, do it better this time. Do it. Ooh. There we go. I thought that owl jump would land me over there. Uh, oh. Lame. What? Okay, I went through that. <clears throat> Woodpecker is just beating his head against the tree, that's true. Alright, I quit, lurk. I'm done. I'm not going to okay. keep jumping off the ledges because I keep... I, I literally went through one of those platforms. So I'm done. <laughs> this game is trying. a piece of shit. <clears throat> uh, everyone should try and speedrun it, though. Because, um... You know. Memes.